Hello and welcome to another week of Holy Troublemakers TV. I am Christy Winveen, the Minister for Faith Formation at Newman Congregational Church in Rumford, Rhode Island. And I am so glad you're here for another week with me. This week, we're going to talk about Advent and the word peace. So let's go. Right before you came to visit me, I lit our peace candle. And let's do our welcome. We are made of stories and stardust. During Advent, may we join with other holy troublemakers and unconventional saints to share hope, peace, joy, and love. Connect us to each other and the love that makes us one in God's kingdom here on earth. Amen. This week, we lit the peace candle. Did you know that we are all vessels for peace? Maybe it doesn't always seem that way. Maybe some days you are thinking, I feel really anxious. There isn't a lot of peace inside of me. Or sometimes I want to punch my sibling. We often have some feelings that are not very peaceful, but that doesn't mean that we can't grow some skills for peace. It's December, and so I know that it seems kind of silly to be planting seeds when it's really cold in the north here, at least, but we're going to. And we're going to be thinking about planting seeds of peace. Here is my pot that I'm going to use for today. Just like all of us, pots come in many different shapes and sizes, colors and patterns. Much like how we can decide to what we wear, we can also decide to paint our pots a different color to go with you know, a style in a room or a style that we like. Maybe a flower cup pot could represent us as vessels. My pot is already, you know, glazed and this nice color of blue, which is my favorite. But you could also make a pot that would represent more of you. You could even decoupage or paper mache a pot. You could use air dry clay or go to the store and buy one. There's so many different options, isn't there? Now, we can't just take our seeds and stick it into our pot and then hope it will grow, right? There would be nothing for the seed to grow. So, we need some soil. So let's put our soil in there. When we grow peace, we might think of the soil as Bible verses or other sacred texts that remind us about peace. Like when Jesus says, my peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Or maybe we can learn a skill that will help us to be more peaceful. Some people use meditation, for instance, and this is a tool that they use to help calm their mind when they are not feeling very peaceful. A spiritual practice like prayer, which is also related to meditation, could also help bring peace to those around us. Taking care of the environment can bring peace as it keeps ecosystems in balance and provides clean water and fresh food for those who live in those environments. I'm sure you can think of other things that we could add to our soil to help bring peace to the world, but those are just a few of my ideas. Then, when our soil is ready, we plant a seed of peace. Then, if we care for that seed, and we water it, and we give it adequate sunshine, eventually the seed will bloom. In the same way, if we take care of others in caring ways, and we take care of ourselves in caring ways, if we work towards seeing others with dignity and worth, if we take steps to be less racist, perhaps, we will start to see our seeds of peace to bloom. I wonder, where do you see places where seeds of peace need to be planted? Do you need peace for yourself or for your household? Are you thinking maybe more globally? Can you think of some places globally that need peace? I wonder, what steps do you need to take to create fertile soil for peace to bloom? And remember in this holiday season that you are a vessel of God's peace. And I know you are a holy troublemaker, and I know you will be thinking of these many different ways where you can bring peace. Let's pray. Holy One, thank you for showing us the ways towards peace. 
We are not always good as humans to cultivate and grow peace. Will you continue to extend your grace and show us ways to bring your kingdom on earth, one where peace covers us all. Amen.